رئيس الوزاري هو رئيس صوماليا حسن علي خير يا كدي غير على سد استوريا يا ميسي يا سيدي هدي لقى رئيس جديد بيش فيروري يدو آل لقى هجين سياسات دي لوجو سمت بيح لها حالة كلا كوركا. Hundred and eight million doses of the vaccine have been administered and less than fifty thousand of that number is in Africa. Even if there was access, a country like Somalia would not be in a position to financially place an order for purchase and would only depend on the goodwill of the world to donate vaccines. The COVID-19 crisis has also aggravated and magnified economic and social challenges that already exist within nations. In the Horn of Africa, simmering political tensions in Ethiopia has led to armed conflict in the Tigray region, with thousands of refugees crossing the border into Sudan, even as border tensions escalate between Ethiopia and Sudan. These tensions, along with Eritrea's long-standing conflict with the TBLF and the Somalia-Kenya border challenges, may alter the regional order and endanger stability. Somalia finds itself in the middle of volatile region with its additional baggage of 30 years of uncertainty and instability. To weather this unprecedented storm, the Somali people must therefore understand the grave importance of sustaining the progress achieved over the past two electoral cycles since the end of our transitional government. For the past decade, despite the shortcomings and challenges in Somalia, there have been indirect electoral processes that were largely viewed as peaceful and acceptable to all political stakeholders leading to a peaceful transfer of power. Unfortunately, this year, the ongoing electoral impasse risks that hard and political culture, which is one of the major positive achievements of the past 30 years. Upholding democracy and conducting free, fair and transparent elections is not a challenge only in Somalia, only in Somalia and while democracy is the most preferred system of governance, we have recently learned that it requires strong and mature institutions to ensure its protection, although it is the citizens' fundamental rights. Citizens around the world have the right to elect their preferred leaders. But sometimes the result of seemingly democratic elections can produce undecided leadership that puts to test all democratic values and ideals. Other times, democracy can be hijacked in the absence. Other times, democracy can be hijacked in the absence of a strong institutions. The recent U.S. election is the la latest example of how well-functioning institutions safeguarded the world's oldest serving democracy. Therefore, if there was ever any doubt of the importance of strong, viable institutions, the aftermath of the US 2020 election is our lesson. Somalia, as a nation, can affirm in the absence of a strong and viable institutions, individual stake on that role, and we depend on the goodwill of those individuals to prevent the nation from crisis and conflict. The current electoral impasse, simply put, is a situation where the nation's institutions could not safeguard against attempts to derail the very fabric of the social contract that has existed between the Somali people. This has paved the way for grave mistrust that goes beyond fear of mismanagement of the electoral process. And although there was initially an agreement by the federal government and the federal member states on September 17, 2020, on the conduct of an indirect election, challenges arose in the arbitrary management on, of the implementation phase. These, these challenges include the unilateral appointment of electoral management committees that included civil servants security personnel, and no known supporters of the current leadership. 
It also included the undue interference in the electoral management of the Somaliland seats. It included the unrest in some of the federal member states, especially in Gedo and in Beledwain, as a result of interference by the FGS with the intention of unduly influencing the electoral process. It also included the real fear of militarized election. History tells us that the development and trajectory of fragile countries such as such as ours, are inevitably linked to the management of electoral processes. An attempt to arbitrarily implement an electoral process without the agreement of the majority of the political stakeholders will result in a dire consequence and might have long-lasting repercussions. The main risk of a disputed electoral process will result in a disputed outcome that will not be legitimate in the eyes of the majority of the stakeholders. That would constitute a great setback in a fragile democracy like Somalia. Such an election would also aggravate our all- As Ali Khairiwa, Mitkami the Musharrihin to Misaanka Ulus de Kasur, Chida Hukumat of Somalia, Wukti Kedu Sida Manu, Inka Stow, Kohla Talata Haisala Sir, Lasushuka, Yemuda Badan Hadana, Wukuchira, Midog Musharrihita, Danka Kalamidog Musharrihita was half a shell as Sosa, Rayu Hashtagan, and a Senak Palatun, and a Telka Mamulan Shaksiat, Yahayadu to go to the Madi, Hamsadalha, or a television of the Habanani Star.